Hello everyone, after long theoretical sections, we are ready for the hands-on part. In this video, I will show how to use Python for web scraping and scraping phishing websites. Uh, I will show beautiful submodule and we will parse and inspect HTML files. And finally, we will create a mini dataset to test our feature extraction functions. If you look at our roadmap steps, we will complete steps 3 and 4. And before starting, I want to remind that I will use Python and the version is 3.10.4 and PyCharm Community Edition as IDE. So complete your installations and make your environment ready. And last remind, I will not explain the basics of programming, API or HTTP protocol details. Therefore, you should know at least basic of HTTP protocols, API and programming. Okay, let's start and first of all, let's create a Python file, new Python file. And I will call it exercises. Okay, you can see exercises.py here. And we will use, first of all, a HTTP library request. So let's import it. Request and re. And you can see the package details. Uh, it's very really helpful and beneficial a package. Uh, you can use basic HTTP commands like get, post, delete. For now, we just need a get. So uh, let's do it. Response equal uh, re dot get and uh, sorry, we need to give a URL inside the parentheses as a parameter. So let's define a URL here. And as an example, I will use kaggle.com, but you can use any URL. Uh, but be careful, it should be valid and active uh, website URL. Okay, let's look at what is response and uh, what is its type. So let's print it, response, response and type, type, response. And let's run it. Okay, as you see, Response is a response 200, 200 mean a successful HTTP connection and the type is a request models response class. A response has very helpful properties, fields such as text, content or status code and let's see some of them, print, uh, for example, text, response.text, sorry, and uh, Content and finally, uh, let's look at its status code. It's also a very helpful one. Okay, and let's run it. Okay, as you see, uh, text is an HTML the content in text form in Unicode. And the content also is the same uh, HTML content, but in bytes, not in Unicode. And the status code is 200. Uh, status code gives us the HTTP connection status. And as I said before, 200 is success. Uh, status code is an important field. Uh, it can be 200, like in this example, uh, or other codes can start from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And for example, 500 means internal server error. Uh, internal server error. And uh, 503, for example, means uh, service in the server is unavailable. So before scraping the website, you, you can add some control points to see if the server is available and the HTTP connection is successful or not. Uh, so for example, we can add like, like if response that that is called uh, not equals 200, then just print uh, HTTP connection is not successful and try again 
else print uh, http the connection is successful and let's run it okay as you see because the status code is 200 HTTP connection is successful we can see this uh, statement <coughs> you can of course uh, create advanced control rules here okay we learned how to get the content of a website and now we need to parse the HTML of a website so we will use beautiful soap model then firstly install the bs4 package if you don't install it then import beautiful sub model i already installed it therefore i just uh, import here from bs4 import and beautiful soap yes and let's create a soap variable using beautiful soap beautiful soap and <clears throat> as an argument first of all we need to give a content then I will give response that content and second one is HTML dot parser. Okay, now we have our soap and it has also very beneficial methods and fields. For example, you can directly obtain the title with HTML text or just text of the title. Let's do it together. Print the let's say title with text. Soap that title, sorry, and uh, let's make it red line title with half text. Soap that title that text, and let's run it. Okay, as you see, this is title. Uh, with text and here we have only text of title or you can use find all and find methods they are also very helpful for example uh, with find all method you can obtain all links or link tank content in the html document and then you can get specific part of the content like hash ref of links so let's do it together for a uh, link in soap Let's find all and for link and let's say print uh, link that get hf sorry hf okay let's run it and as you see we have all uh, links in as hashref or another common example is uh, getting only text of the HTML file. It's also quite simple. You should only write, uh, for example, print so that get text. And in this file, we have only a uh, title text, so uh, it returns the title text. But if you have other text data, then you can see any result okay for now it's enough for us uh, because i will define content based features in the following parts based on this beautiful sub model so i will show more details now according to our roadmap we need to learn how to scrape the content of a website and create a minute data set for future uh, engineering parts so we learned web scraping and let's create a minute data set Remember that this is not a test data of machine learning, it's only for testing future engineering and future extraction parts.